Good morning everybody. Sunday morning here in the UK. I've just put YouTube on and had a look at one of my fellow creators channel. It's one of my favourite creators. Been following him since the beginning. AJ Phuket. Hi AJ. And surprise surprise there's two stories about a girl called Kirby. A two part story. Brilliant story. Based years after my time uh, in the bar scene in Phuket. And it's just twigged a couple of little memory sparks in my head. So I thought I'm just going to pop a little video up today for you guys on Kirby and Apple. Why not? You helped me out yesterday with the bits and pieces and the 5,000 subscribers. So let's do a little story this morning. The first six months I was bar manager in Toy 7, so my second bar, Apple. She was, she was my top girl for the whole two years I was there. But the first six months, Apple had a bit of a secret. And I didn't learn this until six months in. A guy walked in the bar, really well dressed. He was 40 years old. So about the same age as me at the time. Really well dressed. Lots of bling. The gold. He was a slim guy, but gold necklace glasses and they were gold glasses and this guy had money now you do know you get the guys coming in the bar who throw the money about they'll ring the bell and they'll try and buy everybody but he wasn't like this he was different <laughs> he was special <laughs> and he came in the bar it was I seem to remember it late afternoon maybe four or five o'clock in the afternoon Apple was in the bar and she was sat at the corner, as usual, talking to Frozen. And this guy walked in, she leapt up, jumped out of her seat, ran across to him, threw her arms around him. Um, she then brought him in over to me and introduced him. And uh, his name was, it was either David or Dave. Um, American could have been Canadian never knew but anyway let's call him David she brought him over and introduced me and he immediately bought me a drink bought Apple a drink bought Frozen a drink but wasn't cocky or throwing his money about he just you know bought the drinks and we sat down and we chatted for a good hour he then invited me and Apple he invited Frozen as well, but she couldn't come out of the bar to go for a meal. I thought, that time of day I normally eat, why not? Um, I was intrigued what the connection was with Apple, how she knew him. So we went off along down Beach Road, and there was a restaurant on the front. Um, Thai food, it well, did all sorts of food. We sat down right on the front part and had a lovely meal, which David paid for. So that was really nice. Anyway, we got chatting and I started finding out the backstory of this. And it goes back to the video I did a few days ago about the two girls coming from the village, moving into the dark side of the working in the bars. And if you remember, Apple, who I called A, Kirby, whose real name is Nock, went to Phuket before they came up to Patea. And the last bar club that Apple worked in with Kirby was owned by David. He owned a club in Phuket in the main drag um, in Bangla Road. And he was quite well off, it was apparent. They worked for him, that's where they met. Now, 
Remember, Apple, my best girl, she had that policy of only going with somebody once. Unlike Kirby, she would, well, <laughs> yeah, that's Kirby. But Apple only went with people once. Yeah. She hooked up with David for one night when they first went to that club. Now, Apple is slim. She's athletic. She's only about five, four, five, five height. But she had curly hair, short, curly hair uh, at this time. Piercing eyes. Very pretty, very athletic. Now, Kirby was a specialist, as we've mentioned, in the oral extraction. But Apple was the ultimate all round machine. Some people told me, some customers, how they were slightly different, but they always wanted both of them more, but they couldn't with Apple. She stuck to that rule. So they met Apple and David, and Kirby as well, back in Phuket in his club, and the only night David and Apple shared that experience, the aerobics, as in AJ's story, the horizontal aerobics, vertical aerobics, upside down aerobics, cucumber story, oh my God, that was funny. <laughs> so they only, had the one occasion and a couple of days later Apple uh, confirmed this to me that they only had the one experience but David had fallen for Apple head over heels and she wouldn't oblige anymore in any form of aerobics so he had fallen for her but he couldn't have so it's like that story the sweet in the candy shop, you can't have it. Not allowed. He was her sugar daddy. He was giving her money. Well, forever. He couldn't buy her. He couldn't have her. But he gave her money. And Kirby was the one who gave him the aerobics as much as he wanted again for money but she was the one that he had the aerobics with an apple he would have for going out and about because Kirby was crazy when she was out she was crazy she was in front of the bar you know the bars there with these chrome poles we had at the front she'd be leaning over soy seven is quite narrow three meters at the bottom She'd be hanging over the bar, shouting at people, walking up and down, and just taking, just winding them up all the time. So David had experience with Kirby. Now, the night he took me for the meal, Kirby wasn't in our bar. But when we got back to the bar, probably about half six, seven, Kirby was there because she'd had an early bar fine in her bar the FLB and she'd come up looking for Apple we walked around the corner up to the bar and Kirby spotted again she was hanging over the chrome pole at the front shouting she spotted us walking up and she saw David she I don't even think she walked through the gap I'm pretty sure she went over the bar ran down the road and threw herself at him almost knocking him over and there's cars coming down Soy 7 and we're in the middle of the road and she leapt on him. <laughs> it was funny. Um, and Apple and Kirby were sharing him. Yeah, lucky guy. Remember I said, I never touched any of my girls in my bar. I would have so loved to have had the experience of Apple and Kirby, but never got the chance. Heard so many stories. So we, Middle of Soy 7, Kirby's climbing all over David. Anyway, eventually get him into the bar. Um, and he's happy. He's really happy to see them because he's come up from Phuket. He 
bar finds them both. Remember, Kirby's not working at my bar. She's a freelancer at my bar. He's paid bar for, paid bar for both of them, and they've gone off um, for the night. So he's obviously looked after them financially. Um, the only aerobics he's going to get is with Kirby that night. And I thought when he went out the bar, oh, you, you are such a lucky man. <laughs> So jealous I was. I just never gonna know. So so jealous. Anyway, he was he's only up for a couple of days. I think maybe just the one night. Uh the next day, Apple came into the bar and she told me the story of how Kirby and herself had come to work in Phuket and occasionally they go down and see him. Now she did say that one of the guys in our bar, a bar finder, and took her to Phuket for a few days. That when he was asleep, she popped up to the bar to say hello to David. So I thought, well, that's a bit naughty. But he was giving her lots of money, um, helping towards her two million baht target. But he only got her once. Kirby. Oh. I'll, I'll, I'll take that to my grave, AJ. I'll never have that experience. So if it was the same one, I actually know if it was the same one already, but I'm not going to spoil it for you guys or his guys. Or maybe not spoil it. But David, lovely guy, back to Phuket. And uh, that evening, I remember Kirby being in an Apple and Kirby talking uh, about him in fondness yeah wealthy guy sugar daddy anyway there you go i just thought i'd do a little, little video about them and this guy just so you can plant the seeds in case aj is going to go further with his stories and this is just a little bonus for you thank you everyone who helped with the channel yesterday and last night and we're still above the 5,000 subscribers, so that's good. <laughs> I'm going to start tomorrow. This three-parter is... Uh, first part's going to... I'll put up tomorrow. So look out for that. It's going to be good. And uh, we've got... A, there's a few more uh, in the wings. I've got to start filming this week some more. I have got a huge story coming up, which I think is going to be a brilliant one. But it could be so many parts. We will see. <laughs> Have a great weekend, guys. Thanks for catching up, and I'll see you. Well, I'll put one up tomorrow as well. Bye for now.